Wow, that was quite the whirlwind mystery tour of Sheffield. I am the worst at directions, especially the little lady in my phone. And I always seem to take the complete wrong junction. And so we just went 15 minutes around Sheffield. So yeah, <laughs> fun times. I really wanted to come shopping today and I definitely wanted to go on a wonderful magical mystery tour around Sheffield, but here we are, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> the only thing that made it better was the fact I was listening to a really good playlist on my phone. Let me find out what it was actually called. It literally, all I did when I got in the car was said, play emo music <laughs> and this little playlist came up. I'll leave a link to it down below if it's your kind of vibe. It's really funny because when I was a little teenager, I used to love that kind of music. And to be honest, I don't think that part of me will ever die. So here we are. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I pretty much knew all of the songs and I was just having the best time. It made me feel really nostalgic, which is what Christmas is all about. So today I am on a mission, my friends. I don't want to be here any more than you do. <laughs> I couldn't believe I had to bring you all shopping again. It's just, it's not my favorite thing to do. And I seem to have done more shopping recently than I ever do, but I want to get everything everything that I need from the shops today all in one go and then I can wrap everything and anything else that I need to get I'm going to get online or from a supermarket because I am not coming back here again it looks really busy so we'll see how it goes I'm probably not going to be able to talk to you very much but I hope not to be here very long and then I want to spend the rest of the night just getting everything organized and ready so yeah this is what I'm doing today so here we are. <laughs> I apologise in advance. Um, but I hope that you can find some enjoyment in this video. I'm sure we'll have a nice time once I finally get home, unless I take another detour to another city. Maybe we could try Rotherham this time. <laughs> oh, God, send help. Well, here we are again, deja vu. <laughs> Let's hope I have more success this time. I need to figure out where to head first. Oh, it's so busy. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time hands are so sore from carrying the really heavy bags. I was more successful this time. I'm still not fully done but I think it's nothing that I can't just get from the internet and hopefully from a supermarket or two so I'm feeling better. I've at least got some bits and bobs to wrap now when I get home so that that starts to get done. It's getting to that point in the month where people are like can we meet up on this day and I'm like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a few people like that who I think I think I've just got sorted if not I can get them sorted in the next day or two but now I'm gonna go get lost on my way back home <laughs> um, it was really busy but the best time to come is when there's no one here like when everyone's at work or this kind of time when it gets to like 
eight, nine o'clock because it's open till 10. So I don't know if it's the same for you guys in the big shopping centers that you go to, but I am glad that I don't have to come back here for another year. <laughs> it makes me feel festive shopping there because I've done it forever in a day. It's where we've always come to shop, um, but it's, it's hard because it's such a big place. I mean, you get your Christmas shopping, it just like weighs you down. <laughs> I better stop talking because I'm steaming up the car and I'm not gonna be able to see a single thing. So I will see you all when I get home. We're a bit low, aren't we? I need to move the camera. Hello, Echo. So I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling it this morning. So I've got myself a very nice latte. <laughs> I um, I got back and I came, went straight upstairs, laid on the bed. And I didn't move again and then I just went to bed. Um, I was so tired from walking around in circles. <sighs> the only thing with that place is it's so big and then you start collecting presents and it just gets heavier and heavier and heavier. <laughs> So anyway, I was, like I said yesterday, I was successful. I just want to have a little bit of time now. I'm going to put a nice film on, try and tune out, do a little bit of wrapping and just get on top of things because, yeah, life felt a bit like it was running away without me for a while and I feel like once these bits are done, or at least I've organised them into categories, things will be a bit easier. I can't show you all of the presents because I know some of my family members watch these videos and you little sneakies can't see what I've got you. Um, but I can show you some little bits like what I've got for Amaya and yeah, just some other people who will know what I've got them. <laughs> um, so let's get started. I wish I could drink this, but it's so hot. I feel like I need it today. Oh. Vlogmas has been easy up until this point, this halfway point, and now I feel like I'm quite far behind. So hopefully in the next day or two, we can get back ahead. Past halfway. Yeah. <laughs> The hardest part has been needing to live my life, but also needing to film it, but then needing to find time to edit an entire video in that time as well. That's been the tricky part, but I think, I think we're doing well. We're on the home stretch now and I will make it to Christmas. <laughs> right, here we go. So for Amaya, my brother said, everyone's gonna get her princess costumes, so get her the boy costumes and I thought oh, that's so funny so of course I got a Buzz Lightyear I, she's gonna be so cute in this I can't wait to see so that was from Tesco and it's just adorable I love buying kids stuff I also got her a little sticker book Pe Peppa Pig she loves Pe Peppa Pig I can't say that Peppa Pig um yeah it's just filled with stickers so I think she'll enjoy that and just a little selection box and um, some glow in the dark stars. I'm also getting her a slinky, but I couldn't find one. I thought Argos would have done them, but Sorry. Dom's just causing a disaster in the other room. <laughs> um, I thought Argos would have done, or any toy shop, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, when she came to our house, I can't find it now. I don't know where it's gone. The cats have got this little spring anyway, and she was loving it. So I feel like she'll really enjoy a slinky. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for her. Um, yeah, I can't really show you anything else because I feel like people will watch. But I can show you what I got me. So I got myself some tea. I really like this flavour, the love tea. Heartwarming touch of rose, chamomile and lavender. It's so nice. I can highly recommend it. It is a Friday morning. Friday mornings are quite hectic. So all the noise you can hear clattered around in the background is Dom sorting the Etsy bits out. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is, this is just life in our house, it's very multitasky. One of these weird shops that was more like Ikea, it was like a Swedish shop, was selling ribbon quite cheap, so I got some ribbon and I thought it could look nice with some of the presents. I'm not going to do it for all the presents because I'm not that rich, but I do think it's nice to, yeah, just to jazz it up a little bit and people can reuse the ribbon as well. A lot of the time with my family, especially with my nana, she's always like, do you want this back? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> and then I can reuse it for next year. 
one of the, in fact, inside Meadow Hall, which is in Sheffield for any of you who don't live near here, it's, um, it's a lot of <laughs> printer, and I'm arguing with the printer. It's a lot of um, just big chains and really well-known shops and inside of there anyway there was two independent stores which I thought was so nice so I think I captured a little bit of them but one of them was like uh, local crafts from Sheffield and there's like local candle makers anyway I found this brand of candles and I really really liked it um, so the Peak District so I got these for my friends and I just thought it was so nice it says this candle was handcrafted in Yorkshire using 100% natural renewable soy wax, a cotton wick, which promotes a clean burn and our very own recipe. We lovingly craft each product and absolutely refuse to compromise on quality. We hope you enjoy your candle. Vegan friendly and it burns for 20 hours. And I wish you could smell it because it smells amazing. So I like that I could support like a local person and people doing things right because there's not that many shops like that in there. <laughs> I of course got my obligatory <laughs> candy canes. I always get these every year and I just give one to each person and put it like really nicely on their presents so hopefully I can show you that today. Yes, I think that's it for what I want to show you. If there's anything else I can show you. I feel like my friends might watch this so I don't want to spoil it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to wrap these without spoiling it so let's just get started shall we? <laughs> I've just realised the Christmas tree lights on and that's quite a scandal so let's correct that and put something good on the TV as well and see what nice film we can find to watch this morning. Christmas Chronicles on, I think, I've seen it before I think, but I don't know how long ago it is since I watched it, I don't recognise it so far. Oh my gosh, it's so noisy in this house this morning. The paper that I got, let me turn this off a sec. The paper that I got was from Wilco's. I always think Wilco's do really good value paper. I always get stitched up by this every year. You know when you buy like a cheaper one and there's hardly any on the roll? <laughs> So these guys are quite good at giving you enough. So this is the one I bought for like most of my family, which is just a craft paper. Hello, can you focus please? Which is really pretty. So it's, um, I was just gonna get plain old paper, but then I found this with the little cute pattern and I thought, no, that's much nicer. And then for Amaya, I got this jazzy one, which was a bit more kiddie and a bit more fun. I try to get the ones that are recyclable where I can and like this one's got no plastic on which is so much better uh, but you can't always and I do think Christmas is a fun time so having jazzy patterns is good too <laughs> so let's get wrapping. And the air was crisp and cold Where we heard angels up on high While building frosty the snow to 
show you Echo. Look how cute he looks right now. Oh, bless him. <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna leave it here for this morning because I still got all of the Etsy stuff to do and some orders to make, so I just kind of wanted to fit some in while Dom was lining them all up, which he is, and uh, it is time to crack on. So, I know this video was a bit random, and not very much happened at all and I know I said that the other day and you were all like don't worry about it but I do feel guilty that this one was a bit crazy but if I don't stop filming now and edit this then you won't see this video tonight so hopefully it's been okay and you enjoyed seeing me wrap I've had a really nice morning and I'm really pleased with how they turned out so it's just such a simple way this ribbon was like one pound from that shop that I mentioned. So, you know, you can get ribbon from Amazon. The best thing about ribbon, like I said, is you can reuse it year in, year out. And getting paper that is recyclable as well is much better for the planet and <laughs> the resources of the planet. And it means that your family members can put it in their recycle bin when it's all done. And I find it personally easier to wrap with. Definitely easier to wrap with. The one other thing that I, I just kind of automatically did today, which I shouldn't have done, is that I've used normal sellotape, but I would usually use masking tape, which looks a bit more rustic, but it is a better option because it's more compostable than sellotape. It's what we use on all of our Etsy orders as well. Just because it's Christmas and we're being consumers doesn't mean that we have to make poor choices as well, so I hope that that's inspired you if you've not yet bought your wrapping bits. Yeah, I usually get my nana and my dad a hamper and I get a big box from the card factory which is a really well known cheap card shop in England and every year I get the same box and I just reuse it year in year out and I fill it with tissue paper, fill it with all their bits and put the lid on and that works really really well um, so if you've got a family member <laughs> that you don't know what to get that is always a great option, you know, books and sweets and chocolates and biscuits, biscuits always go down well and I usually think those kind of of gifts are more thoughtful as well because you've kind of shown that you really know what they actually enjoy and uh, you know they're going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Anyway, I need to stop blubbering on. Uh, I really hope you're having a good day and I hope you've had a good week so far. We're nearly at the end of the week now. We're nearly there guys, not very long left till Christmas now. How many days must it be? Let me ask my assistant. How many days till Christmas? Um, my darling, I th think it would be eight. Eight, he says. <laughs> Today, I think. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So Christmas is on the nine, ninth day. So eight to nine days till Christmas to go. So I hope you're all more prepared than I am. Um, although I am slightly more prepared now, I've just got to find some time to actually wrap these presents. So pray for me. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my vlog vlogmas videos, vlogmas videos, I'll leave a playlist down below. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and for tuning in every single day. I really, really appreciate all of you. And you were all so kind on yesterday's video as well. So thank you for that. Anyway, have a really good day and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Can we